Hello everyone, this is Elias again from PKIAAS.io and today's video is inspired by a question I got in the comments about using the site as an intermediate certificate authority. And what that means is you're not self-signing the root CA that you create on PKIAAS.io rather you are generating a CSR for a certificate authority and then going to a third-party root CA and having it sign that certificate, allowing it to issue certificates that would be trusted by that root CA. Now in order to do this you'll need an existing root CA and that can be an internal Microsoft CA or it can even just be a CA that you create with OpenSSL. But for simplicity's sake I'm going to demonstrate that using one of the CAs that we've created in a previous video. And then I'm going to log into another account on PKIAAS.io. And I'm going to create an intermediate CA there. So let's start out by logging into the account that has the existing root CA. All right, so this YouTube demo CA is the one that we're going to use as the root CA. You can see a couple issued certificates down here. When we're done, We'll have a new issued certificate that is actually the certificate that's acting as the intermediate CA within the other account. So let's log out and sign into our account where we're going to create that intermediate CA. And you can see here we do already have an existing root CA. We'll just go up here to certificate authorities, say create root CA, and we'll call this YouTube Demo Intermediate CA. The most important piece here is that we select CSR only. And what that means is when we click Create Root CA, this is not going to be a self-signed Root CA. It's going to just generate a CSR for a certificate authority that will then go into the other account and get signed by the Root CA that we just took a look at. So let's say Create. And here is the CSR that we need. And just so you understand the way this is working, we don't have the CA that we just created up here in this drop down list because we can't yet use it to do anything. If you click away from this page before you get a chance to get that CSR and you go back here to manage, if you have one that is not signed, like we see as false for the one that we just created, you'll have in the context menu to download and copy the CSR. So let's go ahead and copy that to our clipboard. And let's log into the other account and do what we need to do to get this signed. So to make this a CA, we're going to need to create a new template and we can use the starter template for certificate authority. And I'll just give it the name Intermediate CA. And this should automatically give us the basic constraints that we need. Yes, it is a certificate authority. Path length is one. That's fine. And the specific key usages that we'll need for that Intermediate CA. So everything here with that starter template should be good just as it is. Just go ahead and click Save. If we click on Intermediate CA here and say Submit CSR, Put in the CSR that we generated within that other account for our intermediate CA and click Submit. This brings us to the pending requests. We'll go ahead and take a quick look at this. It's only got one common name and the key usages and extended key usage basic constraints are all going to be configured in the template which we looked at just a second ago. So this should be fine. We'll go ahead and sign it. And under Issued Certificates, we can see we now have this certificate signed by the Intermediate CA template. Let's click on it and download that certificate. We'll just copy it to our clipboard. And then we'll log into the account where we created that Intermediate CSR. Go back up to Manage our CAs. And again, we talked about how this isn't in the drop down because it's not signed and we can't use it as a CA yet. But if we go in 
take our new sign certificate so we can flip this to be true. We just click on that, say import sign certificate, paste it in there. And now we can see that this is signed. And if we look at the chain for this, we can see the chain completes up with that other certificate. And if we download this, and we look at that P7B, we can see the full chain. And if we click on that intermediate CA, we can see the chain goes up to the YouTube demo CA. And as you can see, our new intermediate CA is available from this drop-down menu. And we can start creating templates and issuing certificates using that CA. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments.